Okay, um, I got a couple couple requests here. The first one, I'm gonna show you guys how I did the one up there. Um, but I wanna start by saying that this idea I got from a person on YouTube, I think her name is Jessica's Animal something. Jessica's Animals something. Either way, I got the idea from there, just modified it slightly. It's super cheap, super easy. I'm talking about this one, of course, but first, somebody asked me, oh my god, um, somebody asked me if this was in my wall. No, I am not that crafty. This is just my windowsill, but I just set it up so that I can put a heat pad under there anytime you want a heat pad underneath like this. This is just a 20 gallon flipped on its side. And then you just put, you work with it like that. But you just, you, you gotta make sure that your heat pad is still elevated from the ground. So you use bumpers to make it level, put a level in there if you can, just to get the right angle. Um, so that's how that one was done. I just happened to have enough room in that windowsill to do that. So I took advantage of that, but okay. For this one, people were asking how it opens, um, how it's set up. So, um, this is how it opens. Boom, that easy. Got access in here for whatever. The heat pad, this is um, shelf liner from Lowe's. It's like 10 bucks for a roll of a billion feet. That shouldn't be in there. Um, yeah, shelf liner. The heat pad is under this one. Wiring is just taped up through the corner because the corner is going to have the most easy gap that will seal itself because of pressure from the uh, acrylic being bent. It'll be pushing automatically against this. So it'll make a lot of force that would have to be pulled out to go out of that hole. That's how the wiring's done. And it's really just wiring for the probe for the heat mat, um, the heat mat. And I believe that's all that's going in there. The, oh, and my lighting, of course, which I'm using, um, I got this from Amazon. It's just LED because I don't like using heat lamps because they're unnecessary, but I still believe in a day-night cycle and my room obviously gets dark without all these lights on. It gets dark. Um, cool thing about this one, it was like 12 or $14. It's got this, which I can just adjust. I keep it usually pretty dim though. Um, okay, so that's that. And again, heat mat, probe, lighting coming out, and it all goes down this way to my thermostat and then to um, the power strip. So for the acrylic door, um, initially, depending on your bookshelf, you can use, I have both set up because I didn't realize I could do it a easier way, but the most common way is you get these little L hooks right here. Oh, one more thing too, for air, you gotta drill holes. I drilled a bunch. There's probably 40 holes on either side. Um, they're hard to see because I, I wanted to hide them behind the uh, foliage. Um, so yeah, anyways, after that, you get these little L hooks. These will help to, the way it's going to work, it's going to stay in there just by bent pressure. So it's going to kind of be, this is exaggerated, but it's going to go in like that. Very shallow, but this is the exaggerated thing of it. Um, these are what will hold that in. And then these bottom bumpers are what holds the bottom in from being pushed in, um, which I'll show you to make it easier. But when it goes in, you just... This is hard to do one-handed and far away, but you just slide it in, push it in this way. I'm gonna have to set the phone down for a second, um, but I'll show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is pulling, I'm lifting up, pulling the bottom out. Hold on. There. So I actually realized that I don't need, I personally don't need those bumpers because I cut mine slightly longer on purpose just because I thought I was going to have to. I cut it while I was at Home Depot um, and I got these dimensions. I just wrote down the dimensions of my shelf. Um, mine was a little different because the inner inner dimensions, like the dimensions lengthwise from this wall to this wall are longer than from here 
to here, obviously, because I have this. Um, so you gotta be wary of things like that while you're measuring it. You can cut it there at Home Depot. It's not even, with acrylic, you just make score lines on either side. Um, like you make a point, you make a point here and a point here, you make a uh, score line on both sides, and then you just snap it off and it snaps off super clean. Um, luckily this way was, I didn't have to adjust that at all and it's like perfect. Um, the top is slightly longer because I was going to have this shelf up one more notch, but, um, but yeah, because I'm not using these little things, I can just pull it down further just to be below the shelf line. And then it actually takes quite a bit of force to pull it out. So he can't push it out or anything. Um, and then again, to take it off, just pull it, pull it up. So that is how that is done. Um, let's see, anything else? What other questions did y'all have? I think that was mostly it. So yeah, I forgot to um, list the parts and the prices. So I'm gonna put a list of all of them in the description, like exactly what they are, where you can get them and um, their price. So thanks.